There's a couple of like holes in the windows and I'm not sure if that's due to like BB guns or what. Welcome back to the channel and today is a big monumental day because we are house hunting. All right, this is the first house that we're gonna check out and we are currently in Marion Oaks, which is a subdivision. It's like an entire area in Ocala. So we're gonna head on into this model right here and let's see what it looks like inside. I love the architecture on this one on the outside. It has a lot of great interest. You see like there's a nice curve there and a big doorway. It looks like a 36 inch at least opening. The floors are pretty dramatic in here. And then look at the kitchen. Isn't that beautiful? So it looks like a granite but there's a nice speckled in here. It's so, yeah, it's a very nice granite. As a general rule, I do like quartz more than granite. The refrigerator looks nice and they do have all of this great cabinetry in here too. I like the choice of handles. Soft clothes. Oh yeah, see, that's amazing, soft clothes. And a corner situation, that's really nice. Yeah, I've, that's just very cool. And I like this faucet too, that's a really good choice. Now, whenever I looked at this house originally online, it showed a, the pad, this concrete pad going all the way out to the edge of the building right there. So, and that was a big point for me because I liked that it was already, it already had a pad so that it could have a birdcage put in or a screen in porch. So this one, doesn't really represent the photos that I saw on the listing. So that would have to be figured out. And then also back here, I'm noticing they did not finish the grading. So there's still sand out there and a wonderful view of the house next door. Beautiful, just wonderful blue. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, but it would have been nice if they would have left like a tree line or something. Closets in both. And then the master bedroom and bathroom is on this side of the house. Looks like laundry hookup, and this is a slab, so there's no basement. Basements in Florida are not common. So it's a nice little laundry hookup, and the double car garage, which I, I only have one car, but it's great to have the, the added space. Big water heater, there's the furnace air conditioner set up. Yeah, they put the orange peel everywhere. I don't really like that. I know it's kind of a minor thing, but there's like some other finishing touches that I'm noticing that I'm not a huge fan about. And I know they still have to clean a lot. Here's the master. It has the tray ceilings inside of it as well with the fan. And this bathroom has the double sinks and the floor, beautiful. And I really like the shower. Like that is, a, that is very pretty. And that's that nice marble hung on a vertical. There is even a little chair you could set in. And there's another chair there, technically. But yeah, so that's the uh, master bath, a good size. And the actual bedroom, the main bedroom here is a pretty good size as well. Oh, let me look at this closet. I didn't even look at the closet. Oh, wow. Oh my, that's big. So, like it is technically a walk-in. I mean, I would say this is a good three and a half feet wide. Yeah. All right, these ceilings are cool. We'll head back out front, take a look at the property from the exterior, and I'll give you my final thoughts here. All right, so that is another shot from the other side of it, the other angle. Yes, like I said, I really like the exterior of this one. However, I think some of the finishing and I mean, I can't really complain about some of the choices inside. It's just not, I don't think this is the one. And I'm also going to say there's a couple of like holes in the windows. And I'm not sure if that's due to like BB guns or what, but that is a little concerning. This is not a cheap house. I mean, you could tell by the look of it. They did, they did um, 
Why does it say argon gas? Is that, does that, maybe that's inside of it. Well, not anymore. So there's some holes there, unfortunately, but we're gonna try again and I will see you at the next house, which is hopefully better. We can only hope. All right, here we are at house number two. And this one is a little bit cheaper in price than the last one, but it's only a little bit smaller inside by like about 200 square feet. So let's go on inside. Now this one does have a much simpler roof line as you can see. So it's a little bit more ordinary on the outside, but the interior is very similar as far as the layout. So you can see it has the kitchen over there. Now the last one of course had the kitchen that was kind of more central and then it had like a dining room on the other side. This one has it where it's dining room, kitchen, living room. And I kind of prefer this way actually because the dining room is multi-purpose. You can walk through it to get out there. And I actually do like that there is a line of sight right out the back. Now the other one was like kind of a jig over like this. This is straight back. And here's the backyard on this particular model. Now there is another model available beside this one. Of the same, it's the same model, but in a different lot. So, but this one is set up to look good. They staged it. I love these countertops. This is quartz and it has all of the little flecks in there. It's, it's very coastal, but also it's similar to like a 1960s kind of a countertop. A little bits of silver fleck in there. It's really pretty. So you have this nice large island. All the cabinets are soft clothes and actually I think they use the same very similar handles as the other model. There's all the appliances. It's just a very nice sink. It's really really nice. This one also comes with the closet over here with shelves. The garage is over on this side, right there. They did throw down the speckled paint chips on that one. It's a two car garage as well. And then this one also has the laundry room right off the garage and the utility closet kind of all combined in here. So that's nice. Now this, this house does have a little bit of texture on the walls but it's much less. This is more of a, an, like a truer orange peel, whereas the other house was a more, it was a thicker, thicker texture. And then the master be bedroom is right over here. They have it staged. And then the bathroom is right off of it over here. Now this one also, the floors are more tolerable. They're not as loud, but they're sort of a brownish gray color. So there's, hints of brown in them, and they're not 100% like a cool, cold gray. Has the double vanity. And then this is the shower that I was explaining about in the other model, how it's a little bit more basic because it's not tiled or anything, it's just a insert. But it's clean, it's nice, so I can't really complain about it. Has the toilet there. And there's also a walk-in closet right off the bathroom, which is pretty cool. That's a nice size too. Yeah, that's a good one. We're gonna go across the house to the other wing right over here. There's two bedrooms, just like in the other model. You've got a small bedroom over here. Actually, it's not too small. It's a good size right there. And of course, one of these rooms I use for reselling and the other one would be for like a guest room or office or something. And here's the guest bath. Very similar, all the same materials are used. So same countertops, same cabinets. Flooring is the same throughout. And then here is the other bedroom. And they both have closets, obviously. And they're of a decent size. Yeah. Very nice. Really pretty light in here too. And it does have the vaulted ceilings, just like the other house. So nice, tall ceilings in here. All right, so I have to say the day didn't really go 100% as planned. I am not liking any of my options today. 
and that's okay I think I am very tired right now so I really just need to sleep I need to eat and we'll kind of regroup and try this again when we have some better data to work with as far as what I want now at least I know what I don't want in certain ways I'm I'm not 100% about this neighborhood anymore, Marion Oaks. I was really thinking it might be great, but until you really get your feet down in the community, there's no way of really knowing. I think in my mind, what I was thinking about in terms of Florida and these new builds and everything, uh, there's a community called the Villages and it's very, there's people on both sides of it, whether you like it or not. It's really pretty. It's, they, it's, it's very, it's, everything's well taken care of in my opinion and so I was thinking okay well a nice area where you're spending a lot of money you would think you're gonna get people that also you know value their property and take care of it but I'm just unfortunately seeing a lot of discrepancy in the different houses and and because there's no HOA so I'm gonna try to see if there's something with an HOA because I think the house is the house, but the neighborhood and the area that you're surrounded by is also very, very important. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.